I think what it means for educators to be leaders is you have to have a willingness to come to the table and be willing to sit there and sometimes you know, put your business out on Front Street. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know that the work that we do in the classroom, it's, it's very emotional work. And uh, there's lots of fear around judgment. Okay? Like you're always being judged about, you know, just from the simple decorum that might be going on in your room to, you know, how you're handling business with kids to your test scores. And a lot of, a lot of educators out there, they fear that judgment, and rightly so, you know. A lot of people, quality people, won't stay in this field. And I think, uh, you know, again, like this willingness to come to the table, be able to speak those issues, speak your truths, and really question yourself, like, what do I want versus what do they need? And allow some of those boundaries to be crossed. Uh, a willingness to make an extension of yourself and be willing to work with other folks who also have a vested interest in moving equity forward. I, just for myself, my, per, my own personal experience, um, ba well, when Basies was on campus three years ago, uh, I just noticed from other folks sometimes a, a resistance to the Basies people being around. And um, I personally work very closely with Mark Salinas. And right now, I consider Mark, like, he's the closest colleague in my department because he's the only one that's been there over the course of three years. Everyone's left. And, um, you know, I know when I first got there, like, there was definitely support from our administrator, but you can say, well, here's this resource, but if people aren't willing to use it, no go, right? And so I had people always coming up to me being like, you know, you don't have to work with him. <laughs> like, can uh, we're trying to have a meeting here. Can, can, can you ask him to leave? People being, I'm like, he's not a spy, people. You know, and people being very, like, kind of resistant, right? Like, and what it was is people were afraid of being judged. People were afraid of having someone come in and just say, like, here's what I see. Here's what I see going on in your room and having to take an honest look at themselves. And I know last year, you know, like, I started building my relationship with Mark, working together more, and he took a really vested, his own personal vested interest in my strategic class, and he said, hey, Michelle, you know, want to wanna team teach? Yeah. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> well, I don't know about that one, because, you know, like, that's how when someone be up in your room every day, starting to build those personal relationships with your children, right, and watching, like, how you handle things on a daily basis now, and you know, talking to you about how you're going to structure your curriculum, and so, and you, it's all, you know, your personal space, right, as you're, and so I had to sit down with one of my colleagues, and I was like, you know, I'd be really, I love working with Mark, but man, that's kind of, it was intimidating, right, to have someone come into my classroom, and so my colleague and I, like, sat there one evening, and like, as he likes to do, he's like, let's diagram this out, so like, <laughs> we made a little t-chart, we made a little pro and con chart, and it was like, so, what are your concerns? Well, I'm afraid of being judged. Okay, mm -hmm. that's the concept. Mm -hmm. What are they going to get? Well, what are they going to get? They're going to get two adults giving them really intensive personalized mm -hmm. instruction. They're going to get to do workshops. I'm going to get to learn how to restructure some curriculum uh, to, from phonics work to fluency to just love an extra candy sometimes on Fridays. You know, like, what are they going to get? And so I'm always saying this, but this new teacher turned to me and said, well, Michelle, you have to ask yourself, what do you want versus what do they need? And what we need is to actually have Mark come in here. And so I felt like, well, as a leader, that's the example I can put forth at my school. And by doing that, I've seen other people, this, people who last year were like, can you ask him to leave the room? Are now, are kind of like, hey, um, you think he has some time to talk mm -hmm. with me afterwards, after this thing? <laughs> hey, can I get... They want some of that, too, because they see the results of that. And when I think people really see the results of what happens, they're going to want a piece of it as well. But it had to, you know, leadership sometimes means putting your vulnerabilities out there and being willing to like, like, accept some, not criticism, but just uh, positive feedback, like be in partnership with somebody. Thank you. Thank you.